This is Burke. That's Scott. You know me, the travel bear again. Anyway, we are off to drop me off at the airport because it's travel time again. All right, what have I got with me? I've got my flight clear paperwork. I've got my vaccine certificates. I've got my passenger locator form for the UK. And I've got my uh, day two test for the UK. So I'm prepared. It's a real pain in the ass, but still, I'm prepared, I think. I am through security, so on my way to the lounge actually. So uh, the last time I was in a British Airways lounge was a long time ago. I think uh, 20 years ago actually, my first time on uh, Business Pass on VA, uh, which was the upper deck of a 747, which was a total treat. Anyway, they no longer have a lounge here at uh, Toronto, but they, they use, uh, I believe it's the Plaza Premium now. So let's check them out. So one thing you're finding here in Toronto is a lot of the stores are actually closed. Not surprising, like not a lot of people are traveling. You can feel the airport's relatively empty, relative to what I'm used to, right? And uh, yeah, so the, the sort of um, variety stores and such are open, but you know, certainly not uh, what my favorite restaurant here at Terminal 3, Toronto Fine Food. So. Here we are at the arrivals transfer area, and we've got a KLM uh, Air France lounge and the Plaza Premium, where I'm going. And I'm blown away. This is a gorgeous lounge. Um, so a nice little area, great view of the tarmac and a WestJet plane there uh, that's headed to Vancouver. And yeah, like full kitchen. You can imagine how busy this place would be. Um, in pre, or, yeah, pre COVID times, um, and the food smells wonderful. Uh, smells, um, looks like they've got a bunch of Indian uh, you know, dishes out, which is fantastic. Hey, sir, how hey. Are you? good, just gonna get a quick video. Yeah. And now that I'm about to eat, I can take this off. <sighs> So a little bit of curry lentil, butter chicken, some rice, um, spinach feta, and a small little beef wellington. Perfect. So normally I would do a video on that, but I'm inside the airport. So let's see how this performs. So what did I have to do to book this flight and all that stuff? So I have to for travel. So first thing obviously is to make sure your passports are up to date and they are. Um, and from there, book the tour. Easy. Next part was COVID test. So at the time of booking this flight, I need to book the COVID test. I had to book um, one here for entry into the UK. I had to book a day two test, which at that time was any time between the first, you know, between arrival and second day or day two, um, I have to get a test and report that back to the government. And then from there, the PCR test to return to Canada. The rules changed as of October 4th, so I could actually enter the UK without a, a test, without a COVID test, because I'm double vaccinated. Um, now, the most important thing you need to do when travel is to double check whether your vaccinations are accepted. In my case, I have a, a mix of vaccinations. I have an AstraZeneca and then a Moderna. Um, so I'm very happy that the United Kingdom recognizes those two. So once you've got that confirmed, then um, you need to fill in a bunch of online paperwork. So the first one is within 48 hours of departure for the United Kingdom. I had to file um, details about where I'm staying, my COVID tests, um, so an attestation that I am um, vaccinated against COVID, and COVID symptom free and all that stuff, where I'm staying, who I'm staying with, etc. what flight, what seat number I'm in. 
so British Airways actually changed my seat from 7A to 5A. I had to refile the paperwork this morning uh, and print it out. So, all good, you know, it is what it is. The day two test also changed. I'm not changing that. Um, I'm actually getting it when I arrive. Theoretically, I need it after the second day. So, if you're not vaccinated, um, or with the vaccination that's not accepted, then um, you actually have to quarantine for 10 days. I'm fortunate I don't have to quarantine. Yay! What else? So, British Airways also recommended using an application called Verify. So with Verify, it was your vaccination review, your test details. Now, that was actually waived because of the rules change, uh, and my vaccination is being accepted, and then um, make sure that you have the travel authorization. So, so that, uh, so the, that 48-hour paperwork that you filed 48 hours prior to traveling. Okay, so lots of hoops. Make sure you dot your eyes, cross your teeth, because that will make your travel experience that much smoother. I can't recommend that enough. Because I used the Verify app at the um, prior to arriving at the airport, all the details were linked to my passport, um, and uh, um, it was smooth. I didn't have to show any of my paperwork, didn't have to show anything, because it's all been verified online um, in advance. So there you go. Make your life easier. Follow the directions of the airline. Follow the directions of the government that you want. Um, other countries will really Okay, tonight's hardware is British Airways first A350-1000, and I'm in seat 5A. So I've been on this plane before. Uh, probably the last time I flew actually to uh, the UK, I was on it. Everything we do, we would like to reassure you that it's part of our COVID-19 protection measures. This aircraft has been sanitised from our prior to commencing boarding. And now it's time for the meal service. Roast lamb. And complete with a brew dog jet stream this time rather than speed bird. Cheers. And I am on my way home from Manchester and London, primarily Manchester, on this lovely 777 in Club World. So it's been an awesome trip. I'm glad I did this. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in May.